Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming. Welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. Today we have Almaty Buildings, Hue Storage, and some more invisible mods. First, shot key, Polish kindergartens. Uh, there's also skins for this. I don't know if I installed them, probably not, but there's a skins as well. Uh, Geography Poland, 1980s, uh, kindergarten public, uh, style modern, standard, at least 10, house built. Uh, houses built, okay, foundation, two, 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 two. okay, and then there's, <coughs> there's height, nine meters. Well, it, it really very interesting information. I'm not really sure what is it about, but there's also links to other mods that you can get on uh, Boosty uh, if you want to access uh, the Shotkey's mods, which is a great, great one of the best modders out there. Now, this reminds me of uh, a lot of kindergartners in the Balkans. I don't think there's much difference uh, between them. It's absolutely beautiful from above. We're not going to talk about the design, but from below it looks uh, really, really, really nice. Uh, quite realistic. Uh, a lot of buildings, like even medical uh, uh, clinics uh, in the Balkans that I know are in similar design. Absolutely glorious. Okay, let's see the uh, comparison between vanilla. So we have the modded uh, right here with the Polish flag, as you can see. Um, Polish kindergarten, post 1970s, 1980s. Uh, 15 children, 150 children, 15 carers and we had like 20 kids per i know it might be it was per two carers I, I don't remember but i think it's quite quite fair so uh eight and a half thousand rubles and we have similar ones are definitely not definitely not a cheaty mod so we, it's kind of in between these two and price wise as well so absolutely realistic mod beautiful mod shot keys mod link in the description of the video Inch Linish, sorry, too. I, I'm sorry for butchering the name, but uh, this wonderful mother decided to uh, make us the Mecklenburg Trafo Towers uh, in English version. <clears throat> the medium voltage electrical switch out of brakes, and it's commonly found in the state of Mecklenburg, Vopomern. For Pomern, uh, this model is heavily inspired by an objects in uh. Velgast uh, substation version is now added as well. Right, so this is the switch, I believe, and uh, let me see, switch and the substation. You can see this one is a substation. Unfortunately, it has 2.5 <coughs> megawatts like vanilla ones, even though you cannot connect this power to it, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Um, yeah, this is a switch. This is the substation. Absolutely glorious. A little bit. A little bit on the clean side, I have to say. I think uh, whites are a little bit too bright, maybe. I don't know. I'm not an expert. I'm not even the uh, artistic type that I would... I, just something a little bit off with the color, but everything else looks absolutely glorious. Something that I'm going to definitely... It's a keeper for me. Okay, what about the price tag? I hear you say uh, we have here... Uh, price tag is f several times more expensive than the vanilla one, so absolutely not a cheaty mod. For more details, link in the description of the video. And unfortunately, the invisible one, that would be Large Explosives Factory by WA005. Uh, right, so Large Explosive Factory to make your favorite uh, boom materials from classics like gunpowder. Uh, Tri Nitro Olin. Sorry if I'm misreading this. I always had a problem pronouncing this word. Uh, TNT, uh, also known as TNT, uh, to more modern research. The Apartment explosives RDX and ammonium nitrate. Okay, uh, right. Um, uh, fuel oil uh, ANFO. So uh, this is uh, this one hires engineers and scientists to increase the output of the workers. Also, the, the, the amount of I, I think that means scientists. That's a college educated people. Uh, manufacturers using less resources. So uh, that means that you need less resources in order to produce. I love this. I like how it looks. It's a complex, and you would make explosives something like this separated from buildings from each other you don't want one big building that goes kaboom if the accident happens so i think it looks glorious this is the reason why i wanted to present it here but unfortunately it is what it is uh, i don't have it so uh it has uh three spaces for trucks loading unloading also train loading platform i'm not happy about that part uh, I don't like uh, train loading being integrated in the buildings just because if you don't want to build it, you still have these ugly train tracks just standing there without ever being used. Uh, 
and especially productivity of these explosives is not hundreds per day. Uh, rail might not even be needed for transporting these. Anyway, uh, there's a plenty of storage space. However, the factory takes up large amount of land, building the and sep uh, separated in, in case of rapid unplanned disassembly. <laughs> wow. Okay, sure, sure. I think that's something with SpaceX and stuff. They, they, yeah. Uh, workers 125, professors 10. Yes, professors, college educated people. Input chemicals 1.3, gravel 3.0, uh, 3.8, and wood 2.5 tons. Output 2.5 tons of explosives. I don't see the reason for this to be connected to the rail. That's like 10 tons per every four days. Maybe, I don't know. I, I think it's uh, too low for for it to have a uh, rail, you know, kind of needed and built in. If we go to the vanilla ones, uh, we only have, unfortunately, like I said, I only have vanilla one. You saw the screenshot that I was, well, screenshot the um, Steam that uh, I was subscribed to the model, but uh, here, unfortunately, I, I, can, I don't have it. I only have explosives factory here. So it produces 1.1 tons of explosives. That would be vanilla, 2.3 tons of gravel. It was 3.8 there. So the, um, definitely you do more with with a little bit more you get a lot more so more than double the production 60,000 rubles and of course uh, it should have hazardous materials um, uh, as byproduct but yeah that's just I, I can't compare it anyway for the more details link in the description of the video Definitely something that everybody wants tiny vehicle repair station tiny vehicle repair station based on a real building in uh, uh, Puawi Poland employs eight workers can serve one vehicle at a time and can be equipped <clears throat> with one lorry or one truck There's a description in Polish Okay, so the uh, downsides first of all, it's the Robsys mod of course uh, it comes with a skin pack So just if you wish to change it absolutely glorious. So what's the problem with these? Um, I find it that uh, they're not so needed than anything But the smallest repair station is more than enough uh, one thing I was gonna add um, Because the vehicles are repaired pretty fast and I, I don't even remember if I ever used anything any bigger repair station at all So in this case that would be uh, this one here. Let's compare it straight away to vanilla this is uh four and a half thousand rubles it's half the price as the vanilla one half the workers half of well everything i would say then um, no no the storages are more or less the same as vanilla just uh it, it's a smaller billing now i'm gonna just uh straight away criticize this if it doesn't work but i'm gonna just uh check it um the blue the the blueprint the brown area around that's kind of important to how much it um, how, how it affects other buildings surrounding it so uh if it's much smaller than this one that would be a problem um because you would uh, put you you would be able only to put uh, less other buildings around just because this um this brown um brown area of influence is um is much smaller so that would be affecting it it doesn't seem to be here i'm just putting corner to corner or maybe overlap here uh, to see how big the area is but um looks like it's looks like it's quite fair actually it looks like it's the same size as the other one we can we can also try it with um with a grid here as you can see uh on the top right hand side at the bottom here so i want to say here yeah actually it is smaller it is significant uh, it's not significant it's uh like three squares smaller but i don't think it's gonna influence um the way i'm doing things uh, i'm definitely something gonna see in my let's place anyway fair building fair price and uh smaller double a double o five uh and large covered open storage large covered open storage if you want your products and resources to be kept dry it has uh, five spaces for trucks and two train tracks to load and unload from six thousand two hundred uh, tons open storage the missing tons uh right absolutely glorious i i love this idea the storages uh, huge size storages should be inexpensive as this one is again with the rail connections um this does require uh this does have a lot of uh, import but i'm not a fan of integrated uh, rail connections just in case if you don't want to do deal with the rails um it's it's not something i prefer also i know that the wood can be stored outside but uh, i personally prefer uh, wood to be covered uh not to be on the rain i know that it doesn't really affect the wood that much but you know, it dries the wood, uh, pro prolongs its longevity. Anyway, I like my wood to be covered. <laughs> uh, bricks as well. Yeah, bricks as well. 
uh, rest of the stuff, concrete and uh, the rest of the stuff that we store here, like steel, it's fine. It can be outside. Probably it's stainless steel, but anyway, it's, uh, covered, covered is always better. And this is a huge storage. Okay, uh, I talked enough. Let's go and compare it to vanilla one. So we have the open storages. So this would be the bigger one, 1170. Uh, compared to this one is the five times the uh, five times the size uh, yeah five and a half times the size five times the price uh, I still think it's quite realistic uh, price nothing cheaty about it and it does take a lot of space so oh, we can compare that as well so you can see here how much bigger it is than vanilla more than five times the size anyway more details link in the description of the video nimbex cz and sor or sor uh 12 series bn cn and c standard 12 meter buses from the czech manufacturer sor uh lib javi uh this pack includes the low entry uh urban version of bn12 with four door and three door configurations for intercity lines it offers a standard version of c12 uh, as well as the low entry coach version CN12 and low entry models uh, represented earlier production years. Wow, okay, I, I'm gonna leave this for you guys to check it out, but uh, I'm just gonna demonstrate the version. So you can see here some of them have a bump on the rear end, and some of them are like intercity within a city. You would have the uh, when people have to go in and out a lot, you would have the a lot of doors on these buses. You can see that this one first one has two doors, the second one and third one and the fourth one have one door. The, the the next one here it has three doors for entering passengers and the last two and then we have then we have one with the two doors and uh, we have the uh, the last two with one door so these are intercity ones uh they have it doesn't it's not least it's listed there there's more details about the buses but i'm gonna go here it's 87 people uh 89 people 95 people 102 people and that's it these are the uh the ones that you have and then you have the different color schemes on them if you want to change it and the nicer one oh this is worse oh there's there's fruits uh, this is Warsaw public transport colors, I think, uh, yellow and red, and then we have the, here we go, some advertisement here, but it looks like it's in Czech rather than Polish, but yeah, it, it's a Czech bus, but uh, I just thought it was uh, color scheme similar to Warsaw. Anyway, uh, right, uh, the price tag, you can buy them by using uh, rubles, we're gonna just scroll all the way back, let's see the modern buses, uh, that will be Icarus for 5,000, then we have the uh, Czechoslovakian for 7,000, 5,300 and 7,000 rubles. Let's see from the similar time period is this truck. Uh, we just need to scroll here. We just passed it. Here we go. 6,800. So a little bit more expensive. So that's quite, quite, quite realistic. Definitely keeper for me. Anyway, for more details, link in the description of the video. Another one from Shotkey XXL, I would say, Business Center or XSI. I'm sorry if I'm misreading this uh as the building uh, divided into two parts the main tower pavilions functions department store additional high-rise uh houses uh the city hall at the moment the building houses the business center by konur by konir maybe my konir sorry if i miss, miss reading this kazakhstan uh, almaty kazakhstan abai 42 address you so you can find the building uh, purpose commercial use number of floors 13 height 50 meters model textures everything is made by shotki right so uh obviously you can see that it's two different uh, buildings uh i'm gonna go to the mod section and show you straight away uh how they are supposed to be integrated into each other so don't don't use them without each other but let's say that you're gonna build it like this on top of this other building and it, it should look all nice. We'll, we'll uh, speed this up just to see how the complete building would look like. So you have a shopping center down here and then you have a city hall up here uh, with 160 people working in this city hall. Absolutely nice. Uh, something Equinox Nova is doing something with the mods uh, of Boston Capital, uh, Sarajevo with similar hotels and stuff. So it's really, really nice when people do stuff like this. So thank you so much. What about the price tag? We're going to go and check the... Uh, shopping center here we have Almaty here 37,000 rubles that's more expensive than anything else that you can buy well actually it's not it's uh, actually the Prior is a little bit bigger but also more expensive and uh, we have a city hall here uh, we're just gonna go and check it right there 
uh, sorry about this, that's a radio station, it's right here. So City Hall is uh, same price as Vanilla, it does have require way more workers, so I would say this is quite realistic. Anyway, more details, link in the description of the video. Pedal Gaming and the Karl Marx Lake, Re Lake Republic. This is not the first map that I made, uh, but it's the first one that I uploaded to Steam Workshop. I think it's a good map. I tried different city republic techniques. The terrain is generated with a, a game terrain generator. Uh, the map features capital. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to skip this because you're going to have to go and read it yourself just to engage a little bit with, uh, with the mod. Okay, so this is the map. Uh, it's a lake. Uh, you're in the middle of the lake you can see here Svidava uh, you have this is where we built some Liuslav and then you have a couple of cities around here that we're not gonna cover all of them uh, Krasjets there we go and then we have small village in uh, Inkersta Inkersta sorry if I'm misreading this but anyway beautiful beautiful map uh, it's even better when you check the map itself so let's go and do that uh, you can see how the republic looks like i think you can even dig a canal here so you can connect the lake with the sea and uh, start exporting by using ships uh, transport with boats here also would be really nice you can see there's uh, quite a few mods around here parked so this is mod monday mods but these here you have some structures and buildings what about the resources they are strategically moved uh, you can see how most of the coal is in the north or centrally located, not close to the Soviet border, not too close to the Soviet border. Iron is close to the Soviet border, but, you know, everybody likes coal. Oil is uh, plentiful, uh, close to the Soviet borders, and then we have uranium uh, in the east, western part of the map and bauxite in the north. That's it. I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, press the like button. If you didn't, leave a nasty comment in the comment section. Let me know what you think. Like, subscribe, notification bell, ring it, comment section here. And if you want to support the channel, I have a description of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one. Bye bye.